Betsy Colley here to demonstrate two variations of a carry. One farmer carry, the other suitcase carry. Both of these carries are great for your posture. It helps to find lat control for the individual. It also teaches you to brace your abs and walk with posture leading with the chest. It's also a great, great grip strength uh, training session. So in this video, I have heavier kettlebells. You want to carry as heavy as you can with good form. What I'm gonna do is go down into a deadlift position, pick up my kettlebells and walk with contraction. Once I'm here, my abs are tight, my lats are engaged, my triceps are contracting, and my grip strength is at work. So I'm just gonna walk down, and this can be any length of the room you want, or for time, and then I'm gonna walk back. Very postural, very good for you. The next variation of a carry is called a suitcase carry. That's done with one belt, one leg. When we do it with that one weight, what happens is we actually focus on working the QL. The QL stands for quadratus lumborum, which is the side of the back that supports the whole back. When that is activated and recruited and strengthened, that brings severe, or I should say, um, very important back health. So it's something to be uh, worked if you can, and the suitcase carry specifically targets that. When I lift the kettlebell in one hand, what you're going to notice when you do it yourself is that the QL of the free side is the one that's activated. So what I'm going to do in this case is walk down with the bell in the right hand and then switch, walk back with the left hand, carrying the bell. So I'm here, I walk down, the QL on this side is being activated, turn around, walk back changing arms, and now the other QL side is being activated. 